Hi all, thank you for joining us for our last panel. Please welcome our panelists, executive producer and star Tia Mori. Smokey Hi Brown guys. Mark Taylor, hello. Hey. Ling, 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 ling. Back How at you. Oh my gosh, I miss you guys. I miss you too. <laughs> yeah. Aw, you guys look so great. Uh, you're the one. Yeah. How you doing, Mark? I'm good, man. Good to see you again. <laughs> good to see you, man. Yeah. Thank you, you all for being here. Our first question is from Suzanne. Oh, we're Hi. right off the gate. Hi, Suzanne. Something Hi, right guys. In. Happy holidays. Happy <laughs> holidays to you. I just finished watching your guys' movie this morning. I really enjoyed it. Um, Yay! Wonderful, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I, li I liked it was set in the city because so many of the Christmas movies are set out in the country or somewhere and like the city is bad and the you know small town or country is good. So <laughs> I'm a city girl, I like that. <laughs> um, Yay. Um, Mark, uh, I love your character in Coroner and I really love oh, that show. You. Wow, thank uh, you. The, the uh <laughs> the the uh singing and guitar playing that you did in the in the show oh uh, <laughs> that was that something that you've done a lot of before uh i sing in the shower and um <laughs> i know that too yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and guitar um I, I i used to play guitar when i was about 12 uh i did it for maybe a couple of years and you know real minute stuff so I had to take lessons and kind of relearn it. But you guys, here's a little little kind of behind the scenes situation. I thought what was really cool about Mark is he would always walk around with the the guitar. Like when you weren't, you know, like on camera, like behind the scenes, he was always walking around with it, I guess. Was that like an actor's choice to just kind of like feel really comfortable with the guitar? Yeah, I just wanted to get it as good as I could and, you know, make it look as realistic as possible. And yeah. It was also fun, you know, so. Uh, it was good to learn some songs and <laughs> yeah. connect. It, you know, I've tried to learn to play the guitar about three or four times. I cannot do it. Really? it just, <laughs> you know, and the wow. guitar is my favorite instrument. The guitar is my favorite. And I, I want to oh. play it so badly, but I, I just can't get it there. My, my right hand and my left hand do not coordinate on the guitar, you know. But my guitarist told me, he says, man, if you want to learn how to play the guitar, keep it in your hands at mm. all times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, See? I understand yeah. what you were talking about, man. But I, I did that, and that, that didn't work either. <laughs> so. I don't know, you guys. I don't know how to play any instruments. Like I, I'm terrible. what? Oh, no, like no. that is one thing. No, <laughs> like that's the sports and like music is is. I just I can't. So kudos to you guys. You're not sports. Don't say sports. Oh no. God, I I no. I I can't even. Don't when I was a sports. kid. No, no, no sports. Like when I was a kid, my dad, he um, tried to put me in what is like T-ball, you know, where the, the ball is like teed up for you. I would strike out on that. So I like hand and wow. what is it? Hand and eye coordination. No, not good. Thank God, you know, I have other <laughs> things that I could do. Well, T-ball is over, honey. By the time you're six or seven, you don't even play yeah. T-ball anymore. So that was <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Tia, can you sing at least? <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I, sing. I mean, I grew up with like singers in my family. My mother, she actually sang um, in the choir at church. So I can sing. But what's so funny about this character, Amber DuPont, she doesn't know how to sing. And actually, <laughs> Eddie, you know, he picks on me throughout the movie about how I can't carry a tune. Um, so I thought that was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, I can I can carry a tune. Well, well the voice is an sing. instrument. Yeah, so voice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you. Thank Susan. you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Our next question is from Jamie Ruby. Hi, guys. Hi, Jamie. Um, hi. Or Jamie. Um, is it Jamie? Jamie. Jamie. Hi, yeah, Jamie. Jamie. Hi. Um, this is for all three of you. I was wondering, is there anything filming this that surprised you that you found out? Like, what was the most surprising thing? How hot it was in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, my, my most surprising thing was that I could do it at all. <laughs> that was I my mean, you're great. You're great. <laughs> Look, y'all, Smokey, you, <laughs> you're great. Man. You were fantastic. Yeah. I yeah, mean, you're a legend. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, come on, Smokey. Come you're on. you're awesome. You're wonderful. Um, go ahead, well, Mark. I, I, I had a answer? wonderful time. I had a great time, and everybody was so so beautiful. You know, and I, I before 
it even happened. I was looking forward to seeing Tia because she's like my daughter. I mean, you know, I just yeah. I love her so much. And uh, she's Aww. so happy I that love she you, was going to be there. You know, that was great. And then meeting everybody and getting the chance to everybody. I mean, the crew, everybody was just fantastic. So I had a wonderful time. Yeah. Aww. What about you, Mark? Was there anything that you were like surprised about? Huh, what was I surprised about? Um, you know what? I, I don't know if I was surprised, but it was just an amazing experience. Oh, uh, I like that. So, everyone was so cool and everyone had a good time. And um, I, it was just, uh, I guess maybe the experience. I didn't know it was going to be mm. so amazing, you know? Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely happy that I was a part of it. And uh, I feel like it was meant to be. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, for me, I think the most surprising part, I mean, I don't know why it's always surprising, but. I think a lot of people, they expect for, you know, these Christmas movies, they're like, you know, it's supposed to be snow on the ground. It's supposed to be winter time. But in reality, we film a lot of these movies during the summer time. So, you know, we're wearing like jackets and coats and scarves and it's like so incredibly like hot. Mm -hmm. um, so except you have for to, you night. know, <laughs> except for nights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except for night. It was like, like the instant drop, like, you know, it's uh, it's 75 until 6 o'clock, and at 6.01 is 30. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, I will say this, though, to you guys. I think, you know, we film these movies in such a um, short period of time, right? Um, so when I first started doing these Christmas movies, I think the thing that I was most surprised about is, like, how many scenes you shoot in a day. Like, I mean, just for like perspective on some movies, most movies you'll shoot like maybe like two to three scenes a day. But with these movies, you're like shooting like eight or nine scenes a day. So it's like a lot of dialogue to mm. memorize and just, you know, you're working long hours. So that could be kind of, you know, surprising. I think for viewers to kind of, you know, know That's about. Right. It's, it's a lot of work. Yeah, we right. uh, shoot these movies in such, I think it's like what, 15, 16 days? When a lot of movies go for what twenty one, maybe even thirty days, so it's 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 a grind, um, but it's a good grind. Oh yeah. I was gonna say too, coat, coats in the summer may be better than like wearing a bathing suit when it's freezing out or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess it depends. Both bad. Both bad. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what? I'm with you, Mark. I think <laughs> I think they're both just. Ugh. But I mean, hey, you know, you do what you love and right. I love what I do. So right. it's all worth it. All right, thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. Our next question is from Mike from TV America. Yeah, uh, for Smokey, uh, one of the good things about this movie is it reminds us of how important those church Christmas pageants are. And mm -hmm. so could you kind of recall back when you were a kid and so forth, what was important to you about, did you, did you do church Christmas pageants? What, what did they mean to you? Well, you know what, Mike, um, I, 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 I was involved in a few of them, but my mom was like um, uh, one of those people that went to church three, four times a week, you know. She was a real lady, though. She would cuss you out in a minute. But, but, yeah. but she was times a week. And um, actually, to be truthful with you, when I was a child, man, I, church used to scare me. <laughs> because of the fact, I'm serious about that, man. I, 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 I was scared to death at church because the church that I went to was a Baptist church, Baptist mm -hmm. minister, and he's preaching and hollering, hooping and that, you know, and, <laughs> and the falling out and the women are coming up there and they're putting smelling salts on and they're passing out. I was afraid <laughs> to death of church, man, until I got to be grown. I really was. I wasn't really like a church going mm. person as a kid. You know, uh, I I went if my mom made me, and oh, she made you. me. So mm -hmm. when she made me go, I went, and she would send me to Sunday school in the morning, and then I had to go back to church with her in the afternoon. That was really a grind for me, man. Uh, but uh, but it, it like I said, after I got to be grown and I understood a, a lot of a lot more spiritual things, I understood it more, and so I I, I got to be um, uh, more relaxed with it. But uh, but as far as growing up, man, I, I was. <laughs> It was it was a, a trip for me. <laughs> Thanks. I, I wanted to ask you one other thing, uh, Smokey. Uh, even though you shot it in Canada, this 
gives Detroit a really good look because they used a lot of stills, second unit shots. It makes life in Detroit look very attractive. Do we kind of underestimate how good Detroit is right now? I, I hope so, Mike. I really do because, uh, you know, Detroit has been kind of devastated for a while, um, but it's because of the economy and because no jobs and all that. See, Detroit is a job city. And uh, when I was growing up, you know, the, 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 the auto industry was, was what kept Detroit going. Detroit was the auto industry, really. And uh, so after all the auto plants moved out and, 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 and the manufacturers and stuff, and then we had Motown. And, and I'm so proud of the fact that right now they even call Detroit Motown. So we, we created a lot of uh, jobs and things like that in Detroit also. And uh, we left and the auto industry left. So Detroit suffered for a long time. And I'm very, very happy to see that it is kind of on the rebound. Cool, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Our next Thank question. you, Mike. Thank you. No, you're up next. Hello, everyone. It is so great to be here with you guys. By the way, Tia, I feel your holiday energy. I have the holiday energy, too. I feel like you're just going to bust out into a Christmas tune. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Come on, Tia. Bust Come on, Tia. Aww, thank you. Something. Give us a little jingle bells. No! Oh, my God. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. <laughs> I'm like nervous to sing in front of Smokey. Right. <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you, Noah. You know, Christmas happens yeah. to be one of my favorite holidays. Um, I really look forward to it every single year. And that's, you know, one of the main reasons why I love doing these movies. Um, you know, it's something that my family, my especially my mom, like she's a huge fan of every Christmas movie I do. And we sit down and we, you know, have hot cocoa, glasses of wine, and just really enjoy ourselves, so. <laughs> now, Tia, I want to ask you first off, uh, what attracted you to want to be part of this? Because, you know, we have seen you and your sister, Tamara, be part of a lot of Christmas movies, and I just must say, I love watching you two on screen. Aww, I've been you. a longtime fan since Sister, Sister. I just recently binged that, thank by you. the way, just to say. <laughs> really? With, um, uh, yes. Okay, yeah, because it's like in syndication right now. Yes, um, yes. thank you. You know, what really attracted uh, me, you know, with this uh, script in particular is Mr. Smokey Robinson. Um, you know, they had told me that he was going to be a part of it. And I was like, no way. I didn't believe them at first. I was like, I have to see it to believe it. Um, you know, I've known Smokey ever since I was like a young girl and I've been a huge fan. And I just feel like Motown, it's, you know, it's been very influential, especially within the African American, um, you know, culture and the community. Um, so to be able to have that Motown flair and to have like Smokey be a part of, you know, the story, um, I was on board from the beginning. And then when they told me that Mark was going to be a part of it, you know, Mark and I, we had done a movie over 20 something years ago, it's like aging ourselves. But you guys are baby. Um, you did a movie when a you were baby, baby. A baby, a <laughs> baby. We were like, we were like in our twenties. So Twenty years to be ago, to, yeah, basically. So <laughs> I just, I, you know, when I found out, you know, who the cast was and all of that, and then just the story. Um, you know, I'm a huge believer in just giving women an opportunity. And Rhonda Baraka, who is the writer of this movie, she wrote such an incredible script and she's also you know an african-american woman uh woman which i just think is just so phenomenal um so yeah i was really excited about this project and i i hope people enjoy this movie as much as all of us did making it yeah now mark you have worked with tia and tamara on a movie in the past <laughs> title 17 again i don't know if that's what you were just talking about tia but yeah, that's the movie yes it I'm was yeah about. 17 again that was what i was talking about <laughs> <laughs> so now we see you and Tia, you know, you have feelings for each other in this holiday movie that we'll see on Lifetime. How would they like to personally work with her once again for this Aww. project? I mean, Tia, you know, she got the big, bright energy, you know, she, um, her spirit is uh, so giving and bright and um, caring. You know, she's always checking in with you, making sure you're all right. Um, and she yep. just <laughs> makes everyone feel involved, like everyone's on the same level. So, you know, it was great. It was, uh, it was like I said, it was a great experience. Yay. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. You have a good day. Thank you, Noah. You too. Bye. Bye. Happy holidays. Thank Happy you, holidays. Noah. Thank you. We have time for one final one. Jay, you're up. 
Oh, thank you very much. Hi, Smokey. My question's for you. You've got such a catalog of songs, obviously, and quite a few of them actually are Christmas songs. What kind of conversation went into exactly what you would perform in the movie? You, you, you know, Jay, um, not, not, not too much because I was going to be on board. See, <clears throat> first of all, <clears throat> they sent me the script. And it's a beautiful, warm, wonderful, warm story. And it was like Tia said about black people and about what they, how they celebrate Christmas and what they do mm -hmm. and all that, you know. So that got me right there. And then they told me Tia was going to be involved. I, I had met Mark before, before filming this, but Tia, like I said, is my baby. I, I love her. And they told me she was going to be involved. And I knew that, you know, I wanted to be a part of it. And then it's about Detroit and all that. So yeah, I, I was on board uh, from, from, from getting the script and finding out all that information about what was going on. And like I said, the script is beautiful. It's a warm, wonderful Christmas story. And I, I was very flattered to be a part of that. Aww. When it came, just to follow up, when it came to the songs, did they ask for your input about what you might like to perform, maybe from your own catalog? No, 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 man. They had some songs in mind that they wanted me to do. And I did those because I, whatever they wanted me to do, like I said, I was going to be on board for it. So I, I didn't, I didn't really pick any songs to sing or anything like that. I just wanted to be a part of it because it seems so wonderful. Thanks very much, Smokey. Mm -hmm. You know, wait, Smokey, I have to say, one of my favorite moments in the movie is when you walk through the church doors and I love that, you have this, I mean, I mean, but you have this like swagger to you, the way you're just walking <laughs> <laughs> down the aisle and then you start singing. It is just, I just cannot wait for people to see that moment. I mean, I just started bawling and I just started crying because it's just, it's it's such a beautiful moment. And I know that you're saying that you're very grateful to be a part of this movie, but I just, you know, want to say thank you for being a part of this movie. I mean, you're such a legend. And Mark and I, we talk about you all the time. Um, you're just, you're just, you're so, I mean, you're a legend. You know what I mean? And, and so I really, really want to, take this time I'm, I've already told you so many times before but thank you for lending just your energy and your talent um to this to this you know story because you you did an incredible job so thank you well thank you sweetheart I appreciate that and I got your vitamins too I got the vitamins yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yay I love that me thank too you. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much to the cast of Miracle in Motor City. Make sure to tune in November 28th at 8, 7 Central, only on Lifetime. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Mark, Thank take you. care, man. Yeah, you too. Good to see you. You too. Right, Cindy, we love right. you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. This completes our It's a Wonderful <laughs> Lifetime 2021 press day. If you have any further questions that we didn't get to, please feel free to reach out to us at lifetimepr at aenetworks.com, and we will be sure um, to get you an answer. And make sure to tune in beginning November 12th as an Ice Wine Christmas kicks off our event filled with 35 new premieres all season long. Thank you all.